gentleman from Missouri is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield myself such time as I might consume. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I rise today in support of H.R. 1, the Lower Energy Costs Act, which will unlock United States energy potential benefiting Missourians and, and Americans nationwide. Broadly speaking, this bill is important for so many reasons, from increasing domestic energy production to encouraging the production of critical minerals to modernizing the NEPA process for energy and other infrastructure projects. This bill does exactly what the title says. Division C of the bill was produced by the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, and it focuses on streamlining and clarifying the scope of Section 401 of the Clean Water Act to prevent its continued abuse in blocking energy infrastructure projects. Many projects that require water quality certifications under Section 401 are critical to our nation's energy production, such as natural gas pipelines, LNG, uh, coal export terminals, Division C of the bill makes clear that states cannot block important energy projects on grounds outside of the Clean Water Act quality standards consistent with the intent of the original law. Last month, H.R. 1152, which is encompassed within Division C, was marked up and passed out of the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. As included in H.R. 1, Division C is incredibly important to lowering energy costs and boosting American energy production while still encouraging water quality. I want to thank two of my subcommittee chairmen, David Rouser and Garrett Graves, for their leadership in sponsoring this piece of legislation. I would urge support of the bill, and by passing H.R. 1, the House would support moving critical energy projects forward and support lowering costs for Americans through greater energy independence. And with that, I would reserve the balance of my time.